Hi there and welcome to our week ending episode of Hoo-Ha Sports Today. In this edition, we will show you results and some upcoming matches today at Wimbledon, plus bring you up to speed with transfer news from the Premier League as Alexis Sanchez refused to get on a plane to Manchester, while Didier Drogba and Nikola Anelka could be on their way out of Chelsea. But we begin 8 kilometers away from Stamford Bridge as the French Open champion Lina crashed out of the Wimbledon Championships when she lost to wildcard entry Sabine Lissicky of Germany in 6-3, 4-6 and 6-8. Sabine has been plagued with a string of serious injuries, especially with her ankle, where she even had to learn how to walk again during her layoff from tennis. But this hard-serving 21-year-old German fought back from losing the first set to winning the match with fantastic support from the crowd. And in the post-match interview, courtesy of Wimbledon, Dot com, this is what she felt. I just wanted to stay out there longer. <laughs> um, you know, I enjoyed it so much. It's uh, it's been a really, really good match, and you know, um, the crowd really helped me as well. Um, I didn't know that it can get so noisy in there. Um, it's just been fantastic out there. So um, you know, had lots of support from the crowd. One fairy tale begins while another ends. For Lina, at least, leaving a billion plus Chinese and Asians disappointed. And to a question about the one billion angry Chinese Lina fans, this is what Sabine had to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but you know, it's um, out there on the court, it's one against one. And you know, you have to beat the opponent you're playing. So. That's all I was thinking about. So, you know, um, I'm sure Germany is proud of me right now. <laughs> Graceful. Let's view some other results as Sabine will now meet another fairy tale in the making. It's Japanese qualifier Misaki Doi who defeated 2008 semi finalist Cheng Chi, and Misaki will meet Sabine in the next round. Also crashing out was 13th seed Agnieszka Rawanska bowing out to Petra Chetkovska in 6 3, 6 7, and 4 6. Serena Williams, meanwhile, bounced back from a set down to beat Romania's Simona Halep. But for Francesca Schiavoni, Svetlana Kuznetsova and Anna Ivanovic, they won their encounters in straight sets. Sadly, Lucy Safarova was sent packing after losing to Clara Zakopalova of the Czech Republic. And in some of today's ladies' draw, we'll see Caroline Wozniacki facing French opposition in the form of Virginie Rosano, while Victoria goes up against Daniela. I expect the crowd to really get behind Laura Robson as they will help her get past Maria with the grunting unbecoming of a lady Sharapova. Venus Williams, Vera Zvonareva and Marianne Bartoli are also in action today while another Brit, Elena Baltacha, faces China's Peng Shuai and Germany's Andrea Petkovic meets Russia's Ksenia Pervak. The gentleman's draw also witnessed some unexpected casualties but it's safe to know that the big boys are still in it. Here are some of the victors and the vanquished. Djokovic and Federer had straight set wins, but Leighton Hewitt gave Robin Sodling a battle he will never forget. Sadly, the Australian lost after winning the first two sets in 7-6 and 6-3 as Robin Sodling fought back from that looming defeat with a 7-5, 6-4 and 6-4 result in the following sets in a game that lasted 4 hours and 20 minutes. Other shock results saw the seeded Victor Troitschke and Guillermo Garcia Lopez losing to Taiwan's Liu Yen Soon and Carol Back from Slovenia respectively. Nicholas Almagro progressed as American John Isner bowed out. Joe Wilfred Songa is through, but Germany's Florian Meyer says Ovid is in after losing to Belgium's Xavier Malice. And in today's draw, Nadal will meet the French-German connection from Luxembourg, Gilles Muller. And my pick for the draw of the day is the tie between Andy Murray and Ivan Lubicic. There's also Thomas Burdich, Gay Monfi, Jürgen Melz and Marty Fisch who will face unseeded opponents. Great, time for some Premier League transfer news. And has Ashley Young completed his move to Manchester United? The answer is yes, for a fee of £17 million. This after he passed a medical test and sold his soul to become a devil, a red devil, to which the young devil was quoted as uh, saying to MUTV, the opportunity to come and play for one of the biggest clubs in the world is one I couldn't turn down. And he added that it is a chance to hopefully become part of history by helping them to win their 20th title. He certainly has the attributes to become a Red Devil, doesn't he? Meanwhile, the much sought after Alexis Sanchez refused to board a plane to Manchester. Can't really say he was kicking and screaming like a child, but it sent a message to United's neighbours, Man City, that he is turning his back on them to join Barcelona for a fee of £25 million and a £10 million bonus. 
With United and Liverpool completing signings early in the off-season, City has remained mum, even on the Carlos Tevez fronts. But I believe it won't be like that for much longer. Elsewhere, Porto star striker Ramadel Falcao is reported to have agreed a deal with Chelsea for a £5 million a year, excluding a release clause for his contract with Porto, amounting to £26 point five million pounds as the 33 year old still has a valid contract with the Portuguese club until 2013. So what's to happen to Didier Drogba and Nicola Anelka with Falco's impending move to the bridge? Well according to former Chelsea player and part-time football pundit these days Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank he thinks the two will leave. Reason being quote Think about it. Drogba can only play through the middle. Torres can only play through the middle. You can't really play Torres together with Drogba. So it's one or the other. While on Anelka, Jimmy says, Anelka's best position, it's through the middle. And Vyash Bosch wants to play in a 4-3-3. So only one can play at a time. I don't see Drogba sitting on the bench the whole year through or playing one game every so often. Unquote. True, but it will come down to how Vyash Bosch can man-manage the superstars at Stafford Bridge. Won't it? And that wraps it up for today. Just make sure that you manage your weekend well so come Sunday night you will know where it went. Until Monday, you have a great weekend ahead. I'm Patrick for Who Has Sports saying is bye for now.